In this series of my Ultimate Audio PC build, I have discovered that I needed a CPU. I also needed to isolate the PC so the fan noise doesn't overwhelm me. I needed a good motherboard and a power supply. But without RAM, eh, your computer's not going to boot up. Oh, and another thing as well, storage. Storage, I think we'll look at a little later in the series. But to start with, I had a little uh, half terabyte SSD kicking around that I can just connect up to my motherboard and get started with an operating system later on when I get to my build. But of course, I realized very quickly I needed RAM. <laughs> That's why I've done a quick next day order so that I could get RAM for this video. And da 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 da! From <laughs> directly uh, from Royal Mail hands to mine uh, is some RAM from Corsair. This is the Vengeance LPX. Did a lot of research on RAM, on brands. So many different types. Everyone needs it. It does get really expensive. It can be one of the most expensive parts of your build, but I think it's really important because this is the stuff that does the heavy lifting, not necessarily when you're encoding, which is mainly through your CPU, but certainly when you are editing, it's all going inside this baby, the random access memory, the fastest kind of memory inside your computer. So while there were many options like RGB editions with flashing lights on board, I didn't think I really needed that, especially as the PC is going to be sitting next door. What I did think I needed was speed and size. Now, while 16 gigabytes would probably have been good, 32 gigabytes is what I had in my old iMac, so I wanted to mirror that. Plus, my ASUS motherboard allows up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, which is fantastic, as I got the 2 times 16 gigabyte package, 32 gigabytes, meaning later on, when I've got a bit more cash, I can upgrade my build to 64 gigabytes, and all it's going to require is clicking the Buy Now button again and sticking in two extra sticks of RAM. It's just a couple of sticks of RAM. Uh, so, speed. Spoke about that at the start of the video. Is it important or not? 3200 megahertz. Again, I did my research on this and I discovered that if you're gaming, eh, you might not notice the difference, particularly if your CPU is not top notch or clocked to go with the same speed as your RAM. But again, it's different for us creatives using video editing and audio editing packages. Yes, the speed of RAM can make a dramatic difference on how fast you can scrub through your audio or through your video in particular. That's why I went for 3200 megahertz. It seemed to be the best bang for buck RAM that I could find at the time of doing this PC build uh, without breaking the bank. Although my motherboard can support up to 3600 megahertz, this seemed to be the sweet spot for me. So I went for that and obviously DDR4, which I have no idea what it means, but it's the latest standard. See, I'm being honest with you. I know a bit about PCs, but not much. It's still a learning journey for me. So Vengeance LPX uh, was exactly what I went, went for, and uh, I'm hoping that this is just going to work absolutely brilliantly in my build. Join me next time. I've already got so far. I've got pretty much all the components. Next, we're going to be looking at the case that I'm going to be building my ultimate audio PC build inside.